Good morning to those of you that have already joined us. We will begin the session in about one minute. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to this webinar, Planning a Job Five Times Faster, brought to you by HiQA. I am Lisa Sterling, your host and moderator for today's session. Before we get started, however, I would like to mention just a couple of housekeeping items. We invite you to ask questions throughout the presentation by typing into your Q&A tab at the bottom of your screen, as your phone is muted during the session. We will address the questions received at the end of the presentation. Please note that this webinar is being recorded and will be available for playback in a few days. I would now like to in introduce you to our presenter, Rob Edmonds, Regional Sales Director for HiQA. Also joining us for the Q&A session will be Chris Mendocino, Vice President of Product for HiQA. And at this time, I will turn the floor over to Rob to get us started. Thank you, Lisa, appreciate it. And thank you all for uh, taking the time to see our webinar on how to plan a job five times faster. So today, what we're gonna cover is give you a little background. Who is HiQA? What do we do? How do we plan a job five times faster? But we're also gonna talk a little bit about how do we collaborate internally with quality management systems? How do we tear down the wall, so to speak, between manufacturing and quality? We'll also talk how to collaborate externally with supplier quality management systems. A Little bit about HiQA. We have over 1300 customers on five continents. That equates to over 20,000 users worldwide. And one of the things that really separates us from other products on the market is our focus on data security, but with a collaboration mindset, again, Let's tear down some walls. Let's be speaking the same language, so to speak. Lastly, we have a customer driven culture. And really what that means is our customers are our partners. Uh, your success is our success. PyQA's vision is to simplify and automate manufacturing quality. Make quality more efficient. Simple as that. Our mission, on time, on budget, and on quality. Again, that's something that you want from a partner, I would believe. Lastly, our values, innovation, integrity, teamwork. That last statement there, teamwork, that plays also into our view of, hey, your success is our success, so we're going to work with you to ensure that. HiQA is reimagining manufacturing quality. Our unified platform helps you win more business by simplifying and automating your manufacturing quality, both internally and throughout your supply chain. A few of our customers came to us with uh, some feedback 
And I, I think you can understand the, the theme here, saving time, right? And what does that equate to? Uh, that win more contracts? Well, if, if you're more efficient getting FAIs out the door, doesn't your throughput increase as well? You can gain more business. You get a better reputation out in the market. High QA 360 is an all-in-one manufacturing quality suite that optimizes your quality planning, inspecting, and reporting with intuitive tools that help your teams deliver high-quality parts on time, on quality, and on budget. Today, we're going to talk about job planning, but do keep in mind, HiQA is an all-in-one database-driven solution. The key there is database. Everything we do in HiQA is saved to the database automatically. No more file, save as, all of that. It's all in the database, whether you need it now or a year from now, it'll be there for you. So today, as we talk about part and job planning, we're gonna show you how we automatically balloon a print and then take it through a digital transformation, extracting the GDNT. So we now have a bill of characteristics that easily allows us to create our inspection plan. We'll also talk about our ability for AQL table-based sampling. Let's start with our dashboard. As a quality leader, you have a bird's eye view of all the products you are working on. Personalized dashboards are available for each user based on their role in the team. For example, here I can see I have two NCRs and five FAIs that are assigned to me. Let's start at the beginning. With a brand new part, whether it's a 3D model or a 2D drawing, you plan your quality with intentionality. With one click, you can automatically balloon and extract quality requirements, add depth and detail to the inspection plans in minutes by assigning gauge categories, criticality, SBC target metrics, and even assign operational steps. So we just got done auto ballooning our drawing and we want to take a look at a few more things in the same place. There was a default sampling rule that was applied and we want to modify this a little bit with some of the characteristics. Over here, we have some of the default gauge categories. Sorry, my uh, video is not playing. Hang on one second, folks. Let's get that thing going. There we go. So you can see the bill of characteristics and there's that default sampling rule that was applied. And over here is where we now have the default gauge categories. We have those set up here in the default gauge categories. These are the rules that are applied to each DIM type. Each DIM has a specific gauge category that gets applied upon creation of the di dimensions. Let's go back. So that gets applied to our overall bill of characteristics. Then in here, we want to go to our overall manufacturing planning. Now in here, you can see I've got three operations, milling, drilling, and finish. Within those, I have three dimensions, eight dimensions and 13 dimensions that I'm gonna pay attention to. Let's open up the first one. We're going to take these dimensions and bulk update them and we're going to bulk update the sampling mode. We're gonna say that we're going to be one press, let's say five samples is going to be inspected for this operation. Then let's go to our finish operation. These are all GD&Ts and our threads. We're going to say 
that we're going to get these checked per an AQL table. We will then apply and close that. Now these are all going to be checked per AQL. Let's do one more thing. Let's go to our drilling operation. We're gonna take all of our diameters, clicking here and selecting them all for a bulk update. And we're going to set a target CPK. And we're going to tell the system to monitor these for CPK and they are bilateral. We will then apply and close. That tells the system that we want to monitor those in our SPC dashboard. Now we are ready to push these down to our shop floor and generate our samples. With planning complete, inspectors Inspectors can simply scan a QR code to bring up their inspection plan and start recording their measurements. PyQA 360 collects measurement data from any source, providing immediate feedback and SPC analytics to inspectors. With all your data in one secure and scalable database, generate any document you need to finalize your job including FAIs, PFMEAs, gauge r and rs Document templates are customizable and interactive, so users can complete them in a live environment. What's more, every document is managed through a dynamic workflow, so you know the status of any document at any time. Now, looking back at our dashboard, we can see that we were able to approve and finalize all five FAIs, which we were assigned to, we've cleared through our backlog in record time, saving us time and money. One of our customers, we did a little case study on and, and ultimately they came to us looking to keep overhead low, take less time checking individual parts and spend more time making parts on time, on budget, on quality. What they were looking for is, hey, how do I manage data collection for inspection? How do I efficiently produce PPAP submissions? How do we run SPC? How do we manage in-process inspections and more? What they found, high QA, all-in-one quality manufacturing management system. With HiQA 360 taking care of your internal manufacturing, let's see how you can better manage your supply chain quality as well. HiQA Hub is a supplier quality manufacturing so software. It leverages HiQA 360 so you can share, collaborate, manage, and monitor data with suppliers and customers from an all-in-one manufacturing-driven database with quality processes at the center. Whether your suppliers already use HiQA 360 or not, the experience is the same. Your quality requirements and part data are sent to them in real time, reducing interpretation errors. Suppliers can input measurements collected from any source, giving you visibility of production data as it occurs. They can complete submission documents so you can validate quality parts before the part ships. In this way, you are able to manage suppliers collaboratively with full traceability and transparency. Let's look at an example of this. You as the buyer have just received two notifications. Let's check them out. We can directly open and review this incoming NCR from our supplier. In the NCR, we can see exactly which features failed on the part. Once we're done, the workflow will notify the supplier of our disposition. Next, we can review the FAI that was submitted digitally, sign the document, and send the signed record back to the supplier. It's as if your suppliers are part of your own shop floor.
Both HiQA 360 and HiQA Hub are built on the most secure infrastructure available. Hosted in AWS Gov Cloud, your data is fully encrypted both at rest and in transit through our state-of-the-art end-to-end encryption protocols. Fully ITAR compliant, we also have built-in digital rights management, letting you manage which specific users in your network and among your suppliers can access specific content. Understanding that HiQA products fit into a larger network of software solutions running your business. We have a strong RESTful API, so you can integrate with any ERP, PLM, MES, or other systems you may have. HiQA delivers enterprise ready solutions with all support and services you need to bring your teams to the next level. Our implementation specialists are passionate about quality and will partner with you to ensure smooth onboarding of your internal teams and your suppliers. Additionally, the HiQA Academy offers on-demand certification courses to ensure that you and your suppliers aren't just complying with your quality requirements, they're thriving with them. To recap, let HiQA be your guide. HiQA 360 can be used to better collaborate internally, remove non-value added work, get all quality, quality data in one place and remove lates. HiQA 360 helps you plan, analyze and report on a job up to five times faster. HiQA Hub can be used to better collaborate externally with suppliers and customers, remove interpretations, and reduce inspections. And with that, Lisa, I'll bring you back in because we can go through a little Q&A. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Rob. And at this time, I would like to invite our Vice President of Product here at High QA, Chris Mendocino, to also join us on the floor. Um, we have had questions come in throughout the session, so let's go ahead and dive in. The first one says, we have a lot of repeat orders. How much setup work do we have to do every time when we have a repeat order? Hey, Lisa, are you able to hear me? Yes, I can hear there you. There you are. All right, perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's a good question. So um, let, me, let me repeat just so I make sure I understand it. Um, asking for high production type facilities, um, how, what, what's involved in repeating orders that have already been run, like how much reworks or how much setup do we have to do each time? How much repeat effort? So that's a, one of the major benefits of our system, right? Is once you get a drawing ballooned, once you fill out your uh, bill of characteristics, you've defined your manufacturing operations, all of that stuff is done one time per part number, okay? Once you've got your definition, um, it, it's similar almost in a way to like how with an ERP system, you do your estimating and your routing setup just one time, and then you're kind of repeating that order. So it helps you do your scheduling and planning and so on. Similar in here, you're able to define all of your inspection requirements and so on, so that uh, when you have a repeat order, all you're doing is going in and saying, I just want a new job. I'm going to, I want to repeat everything I did last time, and we're just going to copy it in. So it's a very minimal amount of effort um, to repeat those, which is hugely expediting the, um, the, the process of dispatching new jobs, right? Because um, prior you're having to like print out Excel spreadsheet or print your Excel spreadsheets, your inspection plans, your FAIs, your all this stuff. You're having to build your job packets, your um, uh, like kind of fit them all into the traveler, the paper-based traveler and stuff with your other like routing and stuff coming from the ERP system. So that's what a lot of our customers are used to prior to working with us. And then at, once they're working with us, they're working in more of a digital world where all you do is you right click uh, or you, <laughs> I'm being too specific. But you you just repeat the job um, that you had run prior, and 
it automatically dispatches all of the inspection requirements down and it's available to the inspectors on the shop floor. It's extremely minimal. To take it even further, if you were connected to uh, your ERP system, uh, we can set it up in a way that you don't even have to really go into HiQA much at all for repeat orders because by launching a new job in your ERP, it can automatically trigger a new job to um, uh, initiate in the high QA system, pushing all of the content down to the shop floor uh, and so on. Um, there's actually a question that was uh, submitted that kind of goes in line with this um, into the queue. It said, can we modify the inspection plan once it's created? Uh, and yes, absolutely you can. Um, we have some revision control tools around that. Um, so it depends on if you are doing like an uprev to the part, um, that's something that you can do. You can do drawing comparisons and such, um, to see what the old drawing versus the new drawing look like, um, and create new revisions of part numbers. But if you're just doing something, uh, more simplistic, like you're modifying a dimension, uh, like something in the requirement, like you're updating a tolerance or you're updating a sampling rate or things like that, that's extremely common. And yes, you can do that. And it, it'll even track that per job. So here, let me let me pull something up here real quick. Because uh, some of this is tough to digest in... Do, 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 do. Can, I, can I directly share my screen or... Yeah, I think so. Yes. Yep, I can uh, see Can you screen. see HiQA on my screen? Yes. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, let me pull up. Um, so we have this job list here. Um, so if I create a job uh, and so on, let me just put this job as active and we'll give this X number of pieces and so on, right? We'll make that. So once we have um, job one, this has all of the sampling requirements and all the everything in there. Uh, when I create job two, um, let's say this one's got 150 parts. You know, the customer liked it. They ordered more, uh, something like that. And so once we have two different jobs in there for this part, um, those jobs are independent of each other. I'm able to edit the inspection plan for one without impacting the other. So this helps me maintain the integrity uh, uh, and traceability of my historical orders. So I can make changes to the inspection requirements, the operations, the um, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And I can track even like SPC and such across all the jobs um, historically. Uh, so uh, it's it's kind of giving you that ultimate balance between control um, uh, and flexibility there and traceability uh, that you need in a quality system. Okay, perfect. And thank you for showing that visually. Uh, the next question that reads, what ERP systems can the software work with? Uh, for example, Job Boss? Yeah, um, sorry, I was just trying to figure out where my screen share went. There it is. Um, yeah, so we have, uh, we can technically work with basically any ERP system on the planet. Um, it doesn't really matter to us. Now, there's a few different ways to connect to third-party systems. It doesn't even have to be just ERP. It could also be PLM systems, MES systems. Um, it, there's a variety of tools out there uh, that people want to connect IQA to. Uh, we do have a fully open API where you can build your own uh, integrations if you want to. And we also have standard off-the-shelf uh, connectors, uh, what we call uh, HQA Connect, uh, which allow you to, um, it, they're more plug and play. They just, uh, you can launch them as an executable and uh, get them set up in a matter of like an hour, uh, just kind of plugging things into uh, the database. I think it may even be less than that, but uh, we're not talking about days of development time, right? And so these off the shelf connectors, um, we have, I believe three or four right now. Job Boss is one of them. It's Job Boss, Epicor, and I forget what the other two are right now off the top of my head. Uh, but we have documentation on all of this in our KB, um, and which is kb.highqa.com. Uh, and so all that documentation is in there uh, where you can see um, our latest connectors that are available and what's in queue even, I believe. We've got that set up. If that's not there, then it's going to be there very shortly. Uh, that's something I know we were working on is having a, a development queue there. 
Okay, perfect. Well, there's many more questions rolling in, so we'll we'll keep going. Uh, just a reminder that you all can type any question in at the, at the bottom of your screen there in your Q&A tab. We encourage you to do that. Okay, so this next question says, can you modify the inspection plan once it's created? Yeah, Ages so I think I addressed that one um, in, in my last remark. Um, there's one after that, though, Lisa, where that just came in, too. Um, is it possible to integrate CMM inspection results from Calypso software so that we don't have to enter the inspection results manually? So that's a very good question. Um, yeah, so we have uh, the ability to take CMM data uh, or results data from basically any CMM in the world. Um, assuming that the CMM has abilities to output some sort of digital results. <laughs> if you can't do that, that's not our problem. Um, but uh, yeah, so Calypso is definitely something we see extremely frequently. Um, it could be, you know, PC Demis, uh, Minitoyo, uh, and Cosmos, like any of those. Um, it really doesn't matter. We have hundreds of what we call presets um, that we've built uh, across our customer base. That's the ability to import different um, uh, data formats from different CMMs. So we have a highly configurable system um, that we've built to be able to work with the huge variety of different output formats that we've seen on the market. Um, it was something that uh, it, it's it's a pretty significant strategic advantage that we have uh, beyond a lot of other software packages that we've seen that are more rigid where they have to actually program um, import logic every time they see something new we don't have to do that we just have we just make a new configuration file drop it into your system and you're off and running um, so you get the choice between you can select from our library of you know hundreds of existing uh formats that we already work with or you can um we, we can build something if it's uh if you have something unique that we haven't seen before okay great here is another one it says we make custom operation drawings how would we handle that so custom operation sheets, something like, um, you know, you have a customer drawing that you received and then you uh, define like your manufacturing operation steps uh, that you go through. And then um, uh, you, you custom design a drawing for each one of those steps to represent the part at that stage of the manufacturing process. That's what I'm assuming the question is. Um, so that's something we absolutely support. We have tons of customers that work that way. Um, it, so um, I'll, I'll just kind of streamline that instead of um, getting too deep into it visually because uh, there's a bit involved there. But you can basically, you have the choice of creating operations as sort of like a filter to your master drawing, or you can create operation steps as um, off of unique drawings, like what that question is based on is, you can just upload your manufacturing operation sheets. You can balloon them using the auto ballooning technology uh, and link them actually to the customer drawing so that the DIM numbers match if there are correlating uh, dimensions there on the customer drawing. So that way, you know, you might have certain in-process dimensions that are checked off of your custom operation sheets that are now linked to have the same DIM number as your customer's uh, finished drawing, uh, balloon drawing. And so that way, you know, when you're tracking SBC, you can see like what a feature looked like in process versus how it looked in final inspection, things like that. You can do all kinds of comparative analysis like that. So yeah, um, maybe a long-winded answer, but <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's uh, the answer is yes basically is how is we can deal with that uh, and there's a lot of flexibility there okay perfect here is another question it says we create parts that are the same part with variable lengths in a table how do you handle tabulated parts slash drawings um yeah tabulated drawings um that's something actually we did we started addressing i think it was like a year ago or something we we first launched the tabulated drawing feature um And so uh, let me let me think if I want to show that, uh, how, how I can show that. Um, <laughs> let me try to pull something up in the background while I'm talking. Um, yeah, so tabulated drawings, um, the way that works is you can set up what we call a tabulated master. 
uh, part. And so you'd be able to balloon your master drawing here. Um, I actually have it in um, in the desktop version. Let me show something here. Share screen there. Yeah, you should be able to see this. Yes, I can see. Yeah, okay. Um, so when I'm looking at like my all of my parts that I have, uh, I can go to tabulated and I can see uh, any tabulated masters that I might have um, like so. Uh, let me see if we've got any... Do, 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 do. Yeah, this one should be fine. I haven't opened this in a little while, while so I'm hoping it has the thing I want to show. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, so you're able to basically balloon your dimensions the same as you would any other part. Like you might have some normal, uh, some standard dimensions in here, like this angle uh, that we're measuring. And you'll have some variable dimensions as well that refer to a table like so. Uh, so we can uh, capture all of those and we assign uh, variables to them. I don't want to get into exactly how that's all set up. Um, that, that'll take a little time that we don't have. But um, for this tabulated master, ah, this is what I was hoping was there, but it's not. Um, there, I can, I can just show it though. So we would take this table and you would basically just window capture this whole table like so. And it'll extract um, all those uh, requirements like so. And you can basically just capture them down to a parameter table and then build all of your um, tabulated part instances off of this table. And so it's going to build a bunch of part numbers in the system that all relate back to um, that tabulated master. But all of the individual like specific part numbers have their specific... Um, uh, inspection plans with the actual in, uh, nominals and tolerances and stuff from the table uh, that you extracted everything from. Okay. So you're basically setting up a master. And once that's defined, you click a button and you generate all of your child inspection plans. And it's, it's um, a huge, huge time savings uh, to be able to, and, and, you know, one to generate it and set it all up, but then also from an inspection standpoint on the shop floor, up, uh, inspectors just pull up specific part numbers that they're working on. They've got their inspection plan ready to go. They input their results and you're off and running. So, Okay, excellent. Um, we are kind of running out of time here. So we will conclude with this one final question. There's Is... Yeah, there's that last one in the queue about NCRs. Yes, correct. Okay, yeah. How are, it says, how are customer deviations handled when NCRs are generated? thinking about that um customer deviations i feel like there's something behind there that i'm i'm like it's very specific to how their business works um that i'm not exactly sure what's involved there um so we would definitely want to talk with you more about um the specifics of what you're trying to accomplish there but in general what i think you're saying is basically how when you have an ncr um or maybe your customer issued an ncr based on like a receiving inspection or if they're dispositioning an NCR you raised, see there's a few different um, ways in which you could read that question. Uh, but either way, um, you would have an NCR in your system that you're generating here. And uh, based on you know your customer responding to you and such, you'd have to kind of update the NCRs in, this, uh, in your system and apply your dispositions accordingly. Uh, now, if you're using Hub, um, where you're actually interfacing between uh, with your customer directly through the high QA platform, then um, they're able to actually disposition the NCRs on their side through the workflow when it's a, the NCR is assigned to them. And you're receiving that uh, not like a notification of that action uh, automatically. Okay. So there, there's a couple levels at which you can operate there, uh, levels of technological sophistication. Um, and, but it does depend on like the nuance of like exactly what scenario you're asking about. So definitely reach out to us for like more uh, specific demos on uh, what you're trying to solve there for your company. Okay, perfect. If this webinar has perked your interest, we also invite you, encourage you to request a one-on-one -on -one private demonstration where we can spend more time, dive into your questions, show you live software yet again. 
Um, I went ahead and put the link to quickly do that within the chat there. Um, thank you, Rob, for putting this uh, information back up on the screen. We're going to leave our contact information up there for you momentarily. Thank you, Rob, for presenting and Chris for joining for the Q&A. We appreciate your help. And also to the audience for spending the half hour with us. We hope you found it valuable. And again, feel free to reach out to us with any questions. I will be sending the recording um, out via email in the next few days. So be on the lookout for that. Thanks so much and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Bye.